Mighty Sharp Show, man. If you don't know music, I don't know what to tell you. We're here with Rodney Jerkers right now, sir. How you doing? How's it feel to be in Vegas for the Stellars? It's great, man. It's a blessing to be here amongst all these these beautiful um, artists, the people that really inspire us from day to day. Um, we just launched our gospel label, Lifestyle Music Group. Nice. This is my artist, Tim Bowman Jr. Yes, sir. Good to meet you. How you good, doing? I'm fantastic. He's, he's, he's a beast, and yeah. he's got a single coming out in a few weeks that I produced called I'm Good. Yeah. And it's good, you know. Yeah, listen, if he say he a beast, then he a beast. That's all y'all talk about. I'm not signing nothing mediocre. <laughs> no, he don't. He don't work in the mediocre. Let me ask you this, though, man. How hard is it to stay grounded in with all this glitz and glamour and oh, what's up, what's up? And that, you know, the music business has that other side of it. Absolutely. How hard is it to really stay grounded and not lose your head? You know what? It is. It is. It is your relationship with God that makes the difference. You yeah. know what I mean? It's something that. Throughout my career, I, I've tried. I've tried to be real to that. It doesn't mean you don't make mistakes in life. Yeah. It doesn't mean you don't sin. Because everybody, everybody knows you make mistakes. You sin yes, daily. But but the fact that I have a relationship with God, not not Buddha, not Muhammad, but on, Jesus yeah. Christ, on, you know, and I have that relationship with Him, and I don't mind talking to Him. And and He's been and He's been there for me to hold my whole career. Yes, he's sir. guided me my whole career. You know, He's He's led me to lead people in the in, 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 to the Lord, yeah. even on the secular side. So. Yeah. People don't really know what you're really doing on the inside. God, God got us planted for a reason. That's amazing. How can people reach you, my man, just on social media and things? At Tim Bowman Jr. on Twitter and Instagram. Man, I talk right. to everybody, so hit me up. I want to know what you think about the new single. I'm good. Thank you guys for the time. Appreciate it. Man. Fine, honey. Doing fine. Thank you. After 30 years? What can I say? What can you I say? Found something to eat, drink, or something keep you looking like you that. You know what? Drink plenty of water. Ha! <laughs> I love <laughs> Miss Dottie Peoples. Been honored tonight. I'm, just there. I'm just, you know, I like I was telling them in rehearsal, I just almost got teary eyed to be standing up there with Donnie McClurk and Pastor Shirley Caesar. I was like, I'm up here with all y'all. But I'm just, I'm just honored. I'm honored. Yes, thank you. It's been a long road for you. It sure has. But God been good. Yes, and he been holding you up with his right and his left hand. I'm trying to hold him. It's time for his right. Yes, ma'am. And he's the only time God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Miss Dottie, real quick, what can you tell these young whippersnappers coming up now that they just got a lot of gift, but they don't really have that seasoning, it seems like, you know. You got to love God. Yes, ma'am. Put God first. Yes, and then you got to love what you do yeah. to the point where even when they don't pay you, uh -huh. you still say. Oh, see, they don't want to hear that, but say that. No, that's what I'm talking about. And they don't pay no that dues. means that, that's the dues right yeah. there. Uh -huh. yeah. And you just got to stay steadfast and know what your real calling is. We've been called to sing to God's people. And I always pray when, before I go out to sing, I ask God to, that somebody be touched. Yeah. If it ain't but one person from my concert, I'm all right. Thank you so much. Doc, real quick. Okay, Myron Williams. Like, now, give him glory. I'm not going to do it. Big fan. Real quick. Now, let me tell you. I got a story real quick. You can, everybody, you've been to everybody's church. You came to my church. We had the organ. We had the Korg on there on the top, right? And the way I had the Korg set up, though, you was like, I don't know if this is going to work. I said, no, it'll work. And then you looked at me like, young bruh. So, <laughs> so I had to put it on the top and things like that. And then you killed it. I had never... You know, I used to have mine on the side, but, I mean, you killed it. You were there with, I think, Prophetess Bynum. But you've been doing those late night, kind of like Sunday night flows. Where did you get the idea for that? I originally started it because I was traveling with Dr. Bynum, and while I was on the road with her, we were having these powerful moments. And the key to them was that there was no limits. Like, you didn't have to stop for this particular part of the service, and so we just were able to flow right on into what God wanted to do. So at the end of the day, I wanted to bring them home, and the Lord gave me uh, the okay to do it. And in doing so, man, in five years, they have been absolutely great. Yes. This, this young lady right here is representing a new group that I'm producing uh, by the name of The fam and Tisha tell them a little bit about your group well it's three of us uh, it's four of us actually dad mom and two daughters and we sing and we try to win we want to win the hearts and the souls of families for Christ that's what we're focused around right now so we have a single coming out called um, God is able and Myron Williams is producing it. We're also cousins. Okay, that's right. family affair. All right, I got it. It's the fam. All right. So, and his, we're also featured on his new single, Yahweh. That'll be out second quarter also. So we hope you guys go out and support. Definitely. Appreciate the time. Thank you so much, man. Be blessed.